Minnesota, his record 23 wins, one loss with 16 wins coming by way of knockout. Representing Rapaz Boxing, he is making his Las Vegas debut and his first attempt at a world title. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the challenger and the WBA number three ranked middleweight in the world, Rob Bravo Brand. One hundred fifty-eight point four pounds. One fifty-eight point four. Well the under the one hundred and uh, fifty, sixty-pound limit. Ladies and gentlemen, the defending world champion joining us from Tokyo, Japan. Fourteen and one with eleven knockouts. He'll be making the second defense of his title. Here is one of Japan's most revered sports heroes. The 2012 Olympic gold medalist and the defending WBA middleweight champion of the world, Ryota Murata. It's Murata right there. 159.2 pounds, already 159.2 pounds for the defending champion, Ryota Murata. Um, let's talk a little bit before they uh, face off. Right now, 7.26 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday, October the 19th, 2018. Um, I'm Tishtree Controversy. This is Tishtree Controversy Live. This card for a bear, uh, 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 should say Barry, a very busy day of uh, boxing tomorrow. You have this card on uh, ESPN+. Plus. We're going to talk about it a little bit uh, later on in the video. you got got uh, the Zone card with uh, Demetrius Andre versus uh, Walter uh, Katundakwa. And also, you have the World Boxing Super Series with um, Yurnier Dirticos versus Mastu's Masternak and Emmanuel Rodriguez versus uh, Jason Maloney. So in this video, obviously, we're talking about Ryoto Murata, WBA World Champion of 160 pounds versus uh, Rob Brandt. You may remember Rob Brandt if you watched the World Boxing Super Series last year when he fought uh, Jurgen Bramer. Didn't look too good going in. I remember having um, issues finding... finding uh, content on him in regards to like boxing footage so he was somewhat considered to be like the uh, dark horse um, uh, underdog in the tournament people were like you know I really don't know you know uh, Rob Brandt man you know kind of like Ryan Martin is at 140 in the uh, in the World Boxing Super Series so the key storyline right now it seems to be that Golovkin, who is now a uh, network free agent, is going to be there in attendance in Vegas at the fight. It's been heavily discussed for quite some time and talked about, and I'm sure the promoter here stateside of uh, Murata, uh, Bob Behrman, the promoter of um, Golovkin, Tom Lawler of 360 Promotions, formerly used to be called K2 or formerly, formerly of K2. Um, I'm sure there's been some dialogue about, you know, because they've been talking about it a lot. Murata, wait, let's listen to, uh... Got some people from Texas in the house. I'm here with the challenger, Rob Brandt. Uh, Christina Prancher. Eyes right now that I hadn't quite seen all week. You got to face off with him for the last time until you guys meet in the ring. Did you see anything in his eyes? She got a lot better over the years. Yeah, I mean, see these, uh, he's definitely ready. You know, he didn't flinch. He didn't look away. But uh, that's how I want him. You know, I want him to be ready. I want him to do all that. Commentating. Right very best, and that's what I'm going to do uh, tomorrow night. Yeah, it sounds like quite a few people that came here to see you. More that we'll be watching tomorrow on ESPN Plus. So what kind of performance can they expect from you? Um, it's definitely going to be a victory. You know, so I'm not going to call it a, uh, a knockout or anything like that. But I know that I've worked hard, and uh, this is my time to shine. All right, we're looking forward to it. See you tomorrow. Thank you. All right, let's bring over the champ. Nobu, once again, thank you for your assist here. Nobu always in good spirits. He has quite good a few spirits. Fans, but you have some people here from Japan and worldwide, and undoubtedly That's just Japanese millions people, that will be watching you back at home. What kind of performance can they expect from the champion tomorrow night? I'm very appreciative of all the fans that came out from Japan. I will win with a knockout, so please be, please be prepared. So you're going to win with a knockout? Is that what he just are you guaranteeing that right now on the stage? <laughs> uh, it's hard to guarantee it, but I will definitely go for it. Right, we're looking forward to it, champ. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right. 
That's it. Let you guys go. It's all going down tomorrow night right here from the Park MGM at the Park Theater. Doors open at 4 p.m. First bell is at 4.05. Tickets are still available at the box office or Ticketmaster.com. We'll see you tomorrow night all streaming live on ESPN+. Plus. I'm Christina Poncher. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. ESPN Plus is a good deal. I mean, I'm not going to keep saying the same shit over and over and over again. But um, let's go look at... Uh, Damn, there was something I wanted to show you. Oh, we got to look at the card. Here is a Mar uh, Ryuto uh, Murata's, um, let me go right here, uh, record. 14 and woman with 11 KOs, 32 years old, listed at a uh, six foot. Um, I covered him. He fought Billy Joe Saunders, right? Yeah, I covered him years ago. You know, now he's really, really trying to get the big fights, you know? This Hassan Endom fight shows you right here that a fighter can be robbed at home. Then he won the second time by stoppage. I didn't get to do a fight week uh, video because it's been very busy um, with the Canelo stuff, with the uh, Andre stuff. I actually, you know, then I had a yearly performance review, long story short. Um, so I didn't really start my work week until Wednesday. Right now it's uh, Friday, obviously. But let's go look at the card. Um, obviously, you got Murata versus uh, Rob Brandt. You got Maxim. Uh, people have been really telling me to check him out. Uh, how do you pronounce his name? Uh, the Dashev versus uh, Antonio DeMarco. He's still out there. Also, I got to watch um, Falco versus uh, Pito. I'm going to try. Man, I'm going to do my best to watch all of this and cover as much as I can. It's going to be difficult, though. With, the, uh, with two other cards going on at the same time, with the Zone card and the uh, World Boxing Super Series. Mike, uh, Michael McConlin working his way up the uh, ranking still. So Golovkin is going to be there. Here's here's what I would like from um, Golovkin. I'm hoping that he doesn't sign a long term contract with anybody because if he really wants the um, the Canelo fight, Canelo has already made the first move. And since Canelo has got, you know, the draw and the win was the first fight, even though it was the draw was technically a win for him, you know, because he should have lost. So they kind of saved him, in my opinion. But the second fight, you know. He's the A-side in this situation. So now if Golovkin wants that fight, he can go signing a long-term deal with ESPN, even though he'll likely fight Murata in his next fight, which would be likely in January or February, depending on what happens um, um, tomorrow, you know? So Golovkin is going to be ringside. And as I said earlier, it's hard to believe that Bob Behrman, a promoter, Tom Loeffler, Bob Behrman, a promoter of uh, Golovkin, Tom Loeffler, haven't had any uh, type of dialogue about like, well, you know, the HBO contract is up and, you know, Golovkin Canelo is going to be fighting Rocky Felding. It's his like voluntary to, you know, you know, to shake off some cobwebs to chill and Golovkin needs, you know, another, you know, voluntary before he goes back out there for big fights. Because right now, the sanctioning bodies, the WBC and the WBA that, that you know, Canelo is now champion, they want to have Golovkin versus Canelo or Canelo versus Golovkin 3. So I understand that uh, Jamal Charlo is the WBC uh, mandatory. You got David Lemieux, Canelo's uh, mandatory. But yet you got Murata, who should have been Canelo's mandatory. It's just a weird, weird, weird with that goddamn WBA. Make me sick. But... Nonetheless, um, I'm going to be here tomorrow night covering all of this. And honestly, I'm glad that today's been kind of a like a slow day. There's no major boxing on tonight. So, you know, I can really, really glide into tomorrow. And also tomorrow, there's no midday card. Usually it's rough on me when I have to cover. Ah, oh, damn it. Anthony Yard. Got to cover the Anthony Yard fight. Oh, damn it. Whatever. Um, two Street Controversy, Anthony Yard's going to be on uh, ESPN Plus 2, 175 pound WBO. Is he the number one contender or is he just ranked number one? I forgot. Whatever. Busy day for me tomorrow. Um, once again, I apologize that I didn't get a fight week video out earlier on this. It's just been really, really, really hectic. Um, two Street Controversy, this is Two Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe. And um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens after the fight with uh, the post-fight interviews and especially if media get to talk to uh, Golovkin about, well, what are you going to do next? And Tom Loeffler about 
um, well, because I, I imagine he's going to be there too. And what do you think about Canelo's new The Zone deal? Wish we could have got somebody to this fight. If there's anybody living in Vegas and interested in going in Vegas, to, to, to Vegas fights, you know, and I'm looking for people who's living in Vegas because I don't want to have, you know, uh, be having to transport people out there. But contact me. The info to contact um, us technically, I don't really um, um, answer the emails myself personally. But, you know, the people who do tell me, yo, teach you somebody. Eat. Long story short, contact us. The information is right down below in the description box. Info at fightview360.com. Also, check out our website. We uh, update our rankings monthly. Our website is finally starting to hit its stride. So, um, we're working on getting the rankings to look better on mobile. I'm Tea Controversy. This is Tea Controversy Live. Please subscribe.